Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Greece, about to head out for another amazingly delicious seafood filled day. Before heading off to that and before this video, I'm gonna start off breakfast with something light and the sponsor of this video, Magic Spoon. I always carry boxes of these whenever I travel just in case I want something light for breakfast or dinner. I actually got back to the hotel around five or six and just had this for dinner last night. Peanut butter. One of my favorite flavors, this and a glass of orange juice. Good way to start a very food filled day. And I've been recommending Magic Spoon for, I think over a year now. It's still something I eat when I'm traveling. It's something I eat when I'm at home. I'll have it for breakfast at home. I'll eat this a lot for dinner. I try to get as much protein as I can in my body every day. And this is a really delicious way to do that. I think I mentioned this even before partnering with Magic Spoon. I was looking for some sort of a healthier cereal. I'm obsessed with cereal. Every time I'm at a hotel breakfast buffet, no matter how much I ate, if there is cereal available, I'm eating it. Unfortunately, cereal usually not that great for you, especially when I'm getting older, I'm trying to be healthier. And that's when I found Magic Spoon. Every serving, zero grams of sugar. Well, Honey Nut version has one gram. 13 to 14 grams of protein, only 140 calories and four net grams of carbs. It's also gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, low carb and keto friendly. And you never get bored. They got tons of flavors like cocoa, fruity, frosted, blueberry, peanut butter, cookie and cream, maple, waffle, cinnamon roll, and the new formulated Honey Nut. Just tell, peanut butter is my favorite. Let's dig into that. So if you want to give it a try, click the link down below and start building your own variety box and use my promo code MikeyChan for $5 off. Again, you can choose from the best selling flavors like cocoa, fruity, frosted, blueberry, peanut butter, cookie and cream, or try the newly added flavor Honey Nut. And the best thing I love about this product is they have a 100% happiness guarantee. So that means if you don't like it for whatever reason, get your money back. So again, click the link down below, use my promo code MikeyChan for $5 off, or just go to magicspoon.com slash MikeyChan to save $5 off your order. Also, if you're in Canada, or the UK, Magic Spoon now delivers there as well. All right, gonna finish up and go film today's food adventure and uh, enjoy the video. Good morning. Don't think I've ever been to an English breakfast buffet before, so let's go check it out. English buffet here at the Dixon Hotel. On the hot bar, we have scrambled eggs, bacon and sausage, tomato and mushroom hash browns, baked beans. So this buffet, it's not a huge buffet, but it does cost around 30 US dollars. Mm. Pleasantly surprised they had goji berries. Mix that with some hot water when put it into your tea. Healthy and delicious. Hot food items include bacon, sausage, hash browns, portobello, mushrooms, grilled tomatoes, scrambled eggs, baked beans. These seem to be very common English breakfast food items. And instead of ketchup, which I usually get with my eggs, I'm just gonna have some of this real tomato juice on my eggs. Mm. Eggs are fluffy, and with some of that grilled tomato juice, that's just delightfully sweet and smoky. Giant portobello mushrooms. This stuff is delicious. Oh, I love portobello. Mm. That's just the best thing. I feel like I need some salt on my eggs. It's not really salty enough for me. Or well, maybe I should have been just eating the eggs with a bite of bacon. And these are giant pieces of bacon. Hmm. Again, not normally a beans guy. These beans are really good. Eat these with some of the eggs. The beans are a little tomato-y, they're creamy. I mean, it's a good texture. It's a really nice flavor with a taste just kind of lingers on your tongue, especially if you eat it with some of the bacon. 
Get the hash brown involved too. This is a really crispy piece of hash brown. All this together. Yeah. Mm. Hash browns are amazing. Perfect contrasting texture to the beans. Portobello involved as well. This is so nice to get the grilled tomatoes, just kind of mash it all up with the eggs. Put that all on top of the portobello. Oh, I haven't even tried the sausage yet. Mm. Mm. I mean, all this kind of looks similar to traditional breakfast food items you'll find in the US. But with freshly grilled tomatoes instead of ketchup, I think better quality meats, definitely a better crispier hash browns and the creamy baked eggs. They look similar, but taste so much better. Also the pastries, look at this. Some amazingly fresh pastries. Mm. Oh yeah, these are freshly made and they are delicious. They also have poached eggs, fried eggs, and their apple juice look very opaque and taste way more tart and actually more like apples than our apple juice. It actually tastes healthy. <laughs> Whereas I think apple juice back home pretty much tastes like a glass of sugar. I just went up to get bacon, but then you know, I saw the mushroom, I wanted that. Then I saw some smoked salmon, I wanted that. Then of course the grilled tomatoes. Oh, I forgot the baked beans. Sorry if I'm offending anybody from the UK, if this is not the proper way to eat my breakfast, but I think this will be really, really good. Mm. Perfectly cooked pole sticks. Oh, look at that. These are eggs with a more of a golden yolk. I think the quality of the eggs are much better. Bring in some croissant and just soak all that runny egg up. Mm. Absolutely off the charts. Now for the fried eggs. Oh, again, it looks so unbelievably beautiful. Put some bacon, found some ham up there as well. Put that on the side. Dip some of that bacon in that golden yolk. What I love about the bacon is that there's a giant parts of it. I mean, look at this. It's a thicker cut than the US. I mean, every piece just has, just has that beautiful section of fat that just melts in your mouth. It's so freaking delicious. Some bacon, some ham. Mmm, and some gooey, gooey eggs. Just take a bite of this. And take a bite of this amazing pastry dipped into this yolk. Also, got some smoked fish, because figure, why not, it's there. I mean, this is definitely by no means a, a cheap breakfast buffet. It was very quality food. Of course, chase that all down with some goji tea. Mm. Goji coconut tea. One last thing I ordered. It's oatmeal. Shaved coconuts, goji berries, granola, some raisins. Oatmeal is not something I typically eat. I probably had oatmeal maybe three times in my life. First time I was in elementary school, I just came from China and I thought I accidentally ate wall paste. Hmm. This is freaking delicious. I got this because this is another um, item you can order off the menu that's included in this buffet, so I want to get my money's worth. It's creamy, it's milky. It's not super sticky. Nice crunch from the granola. Goji berry is nice. Mm. Overall flavor is just really fantastic. Everywhere I go, love trying out the local breakfast buffet. Overall, this meal, pricey but delicious. I love it because we eat this at like seven in the morning. So gonna head back to the room, do some work, and then see you at lunch. All right, trying to get to the Seven Dials Market. 
how do we get inside this? There we go. There we go. There we go. Seven dials market. Here it is. This is what we're here for. Welcome to an all you can eat rotating cheese buffet. This is one of the coolest all you can eat experiences I've ever been part of. This place is called the Cheese Bar and basically a conveyor belt of cheese and meat and nuts is just going round and round in front of me. I see donuts as well. For the next hour and 15 minutes, I can grab as much as I want off this conveyor belt. This is just amazing. Also, ironic since an Asian and an all you can eat cheese bar. And I guess today we will find out how much lactose I can actually tolerate. So excited. Here we go. There's over 25 selection of cheeses on this tray going back and forth around me. Okay, I'm gonna start grabbing this one. And the cheese will come with a corresponding little side dish that tastes really well with the cheese. And usually there's a number right here in this hole telling you uh, what cheese it is, some information. So this is the Saint Ella. So this is goat cheese paired with rose Turkish delight. And I'm just pretty much eating with this nut here. There's a ton of funk in here. It tastes like I ate a creamy fart. I think I definitely lost a cheese roulette with this one. Oh, that just threw me in the deep end right there. Thank God for this Turkish delight. I mean, texture wise, it's delicious. Very creamy. It is stinky. Oh, I'm never gonna do that again. All right, let's start with something amateurish. Oh, I can definitely do this. A platter of meat and pickles. Oh, number one sounds like a good easy number. So number one, I got the cloth bound cheddar. And it's paired with apple veritang onions. I like cheddar. Also cured ham. And this is made from apparently pigs that are just amazingly delicious. That is a delicious piece of cheese. That's a nice hit of horseradish flavor inside that cheddar. Chase it a little onion. Mm. They really pair these cheese off well with that little side dish. Horseradish flavor is so pronounced. Onions pickle perfectly. A little sweet, very sour, very good. Look at this. Try some of this cured ham. Little pickles. That's delicious. I'm so happy the ham is really not overly salty. I'm so stable when it comes to cheese. Check me about one, two, three, four, five, five plates in to realize I'm not supposed to eat the end of the cheese here. No wonder it tasted waxy. Moving on, number 20. So this cheese is kind of like a brie. Ooh, this looks gooey and delicious. flavor. She's a little bit bitter, but it's just so creamy and nice. One of my favorites so far. This one is a smoked curd hams Lancashire. It's supposed to be a smoked cheese and it's paired with smoked apple butter. I like smoked cheese. I got a good feeling about this one. Mm. Very, very crumbly. Very, very smoky. Yeah, this is some good at cheese. I like that. Sweet and salty, very nutty. Mm. 
also a little crumply. It's probably the most cheese I've ever eaten in my life. I'm surprised my body hasn't exploded yet. Now, I don't know what happens when a lactose intolerant Asian is at a cheese buffet. I'm, I'm kind of half expecting my head just to explode. Pushing my own boundaries here. This is a delicious plate, by the way. Taking a little break from the cheese, spiced salami, little fennel, seeds, and pickles. Mm. They're so peppery and flavorful. Ooh, that pickle sour too. I like the switching between cheese and meat and then a little bread. This is the Cornish Gouda paired with clotted cream fudge. Ooh. Mm. Gouda is my favorite cheese in the world. And this thing is sweet, it's savory, and it's nutty. Mm. A lot of flavors intense. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a piece of bread with salami. And if you get bread, you can just kind of do a little combination of sweet, savory, meat, and cheese. Mm. Oh, that's so good. I think I'm more used to the Gouda that they sell over at Kroger. That's just so insanely delicious. Mm. This one is an Irish style Swiss cheese paired with black butter. Oh, this is interesting. It's a very, very nutty cheese. What is a little sweet, a little bitter? Mm. Not bad. This cheese is called the Driftwood. It's a goat cheese paired with shortbread and honey. Very, very soft, delicate cheese. Mmm. That's not only one of the best goat cheese I've ever had. That might be one of the best pieces of cheese I've had today. This thing is silky smooth. It's got this creamy texture, almost like mousse. Wow. It's got the funk for sure, but in a very, very, very nice way. Mmm. That's so freaking nice. Some Diet Coke. Mm. I think the best piece I had so far today. This is called, I, I don't even know, uh, Gorewed Carefilly? Gorewed Carefilly? Gorewed Carefilly. I, I don't know. Sorry. It's Asian and comes with leeks. And with all the leek dumplings I've eaten in my life, pretty much describes me. Ooh. Very intensely flavored piece of cheese. Mm. I mean, it's very buttery and creamy, and the leeks provide such a nice, crunchy texture. This is good. This is Gorgonzola paired with cider brandy. Mm. Whoa. Yeah, that's a funky piece of cheese. Really funky piece of cheese. Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to recover from that. Cheese gods have not been kind. That is a very, very intense cheese. Wow. Even after a full day of training, I was not ready to tackle this. Oh my gosh. There we go. Got some air dried beef. This looks delicious. Mm. Oh, thank God for that. All right, time has almost run out. There's one more thing we gotta get. Is the, oh, sorry about that. Oh, that's causing so many issues. The top fell off on the conveyor belt. Look at that though. That looks beautiful. It's a goat cheese donut with apricot and vanilla jam. Mmm, the sweet and the cheese is a little sour. The donut is absolutely freaking really perfect. Yeah, this is the perfect conclusion to this meal. 
the cheesiest buffet I've ever been to in my life. It's so fun though, and this for me has definitely been stepping out of my comfort zone. I don't know much about cheese. I don't eat cheese that often. I am lactose intolerant. I just, I just push through it. I mean, we Asians, we persevere. I mean, name another group of people that are mostly lactose intolerant, but the national drink is something called milk tea. Of course, I love buffets, and this is definitely one of the most unique buffets I've been to. Just seeing the cheese going back and forth in front of me. I mean, if you were feeling blue before coming here, this place is gonna make you feel good at. All right, that's, that's the last one. Anyway, people are incredibly nice. Cheese is amazing. Definitely check this place out. Welcome to the show. We're glad you came. I think it's gonna melt your brain. Oh, no. Ah, truffle burger. Well, at least there's another branch around here. Truffle burger is like a really popular burger chain here in London. That smells so good. The little crunchy onions is genius. When you take a bite, the beef patty just melts. And you get that slight little bits of crunch every single time you put your teeth together. It's all crumbling from those crunchy onions. On the bottom is sweet caramelized onions. And this burger is definitely cooked medium rare. Mm. Every time you chew, you got that blast of truffle flavor. The crunch almost gives you the illusion that the outside patty is charred so well that some bits are a little crunchy. So it's a mixture between savory, sweet, smoky, crunchy, just amazing truffle flavor. Mm. Oh, this is so good too. Thick cuts of fries, Parmesan cheese, again, Awesome truffle flavor. I definitely see why this place is so popular. Mm. Oh, I've been craving a burger for so long. This definitely hits the spot. All right, got my burger. Let's go get some nudes. It's actually a lot of Xi'an places here in London. Oh, this looks good. Okay, pork bun. They got liang pi, biang biang noodles. This is supposed to be a really authentic place. All Asians in there. Very excited for this. Yeah, that's the taste of childhood. This is the biggest bowl. <laughs> what? This is a giant bowl. I feel like I could take a bath in this bowl. Tell you what, London, a lot of different foods here. I do find it really nice that I can find my favorite comfort food. And there's so many places that serves this. A lot of places serve Leon P in London. Mm. And a good version of that too. Wow. Oh, the mouthfeel of the noodles are amazing. Super chewy, spicy, a little sour. I could use a bit more vinegar, but overall flavor is excellent. Mm. If you don't know, these are cold wheat noodles and the texture are just incredibly chewy and bouncy. Mm. And then little pieces of gluten that soaks up that nice sauce down below. <laughs> I like to do, of course, dunk the bun in the sauce. Mm. Oh, that's so good. The spicy pork burger. All that sun came out quick. All right, this burger, flavor is excellent. Spice level is perfect. The beef is tender. It's flavorful. You taste the cumin. The buns, I feel like, are just okay. Overall, though, this plus the lamb pee, just awesome. Mmm. I mean, this is my hometown food, so pretty much wherever I go, if I could find places that serves it, I just want it. And I'm happy to see that Xi'an food is making such a huge impact here in London. There's a few locations of this restaurant here. There's a lot of like fast food Chinese places selling these items as well. So if you're in London and you haven't tried Xi'an food yet, definitely give it a shot. I am really excited for the big giant bowl of bam bam noodles. Ha 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 ha. Lamb is good. They give you plenty of meat, plenty of noodles. 
Mm. This is the best dish I had here. This thing is chewy, it's saucy. It's got that nice fragrance from the flash fried garlic and chilies. The noodles are superbly chewy and delicious. Mm. Wow. This dish is absolute perfection. These noodles are my favorite noodles of all time. And this place absolutely knocked it out of the park. This is so amazingly good. If you ever want to try, in my opinion, the best types of noodles, it's the Bian Bian noodle. Come and get a bowl of this. There's some life-changing stuff. Plus, you get it. You get a noodles in a giant bathtub, so delicious and fun. I was making my way across town, trying to get to you. I've been keeping my phone. Weather here is so unpredictable. And as always, guys, all the places I went to listed down below for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.